मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल विल बी फाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम टीचिंग यू एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज एंड इन दिस चैप्टर दिस इज दिस चैप्टर इज इंटाइटल्ड एज एनिमल्स ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट एनिमल्स ओके सो हियर इन योर बुक इट हैज गिवन दैट कियारा एंड आर अ विजिटेड अ ज़ू हैव यू वेंट टू अ ज़ू ज़ू मीन्स वेयर यू सी सो मेनी एनिमल्स Okay, at one place. So, along with their parents, to whom with they went to the zoo with their parents. There they saw huge variety of animals. So many animals, so many types of animals. Understood? Let us learn more about different types of animals. So we are going to learn different types of animal. Understood? We see many animals around us. Yes, we see many animals in our surroundings, like dog. cat rat monkeys are there okay so many animals animals are living creatures so animals are living creatures they are living beings and need air water and food to live like us we also need air we also need oxygen we also need water to drink we also need food to eat understood so that we can live some animals are very big and some animals are small we people are like that some are very big some are small some are adolescent some are fat some are thin understood so like that now if we will talk about some big animals like elephant giraffe bear uh in marine life there are the blue whale this is very huge understood and when we are talking about some small animals rabbit rat okay rat frog understood these all are small animals so here is a question name the largest animal on land so students if i am asking about largest animal on land that is elephant and if i am saying that largest animal on uh, in water or marine life that is the blue whale okay so blue whale is the largest animal in the water okay okay and if in the land i am saying that it is it will be always elephant okay elephant is so huge now we will uh, learn wild animals and domestic animals okay students now wild animals the animals that lives in the forest are called wild animals for example lion elephant zebra bear fox etc there are certain wild animals wild animals means they live in the forest we can't keep them at our home they live in the forest examples tiger leopard zebra lion these all are wild animals okay now domestic animals the animals which can be kept at home or in farm by people are called domestic animal farm means you know farm where people keep the animals that that is a house of animals farm is a house of animals where they can live safely okay they can eat their food there uh, uh, at that place okay so that is a farm so domestic animal that is a difference okay we can't keep wild animals at home but we can keep domestic animals at home they are very lovely lovely they are very loving towards us okay so uh, this animal help us in many ways like they work for us gives us food gives us milk wool etc you know ships ship ship is a s h w e p this one s h w e p ship ship is a uh, domestic animal okay and it gives us wool what does ship give us wool by wool we can make blanket okay that is we, we can use in winter so it is uh, it is giving us something now i am taking example of cow and buffalo okay now buffalo also and cow also gives us milk by milk we can eat paneer yes you people ghee there are uh, 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 butter okay this all product we can eat by milk which can, which uh, cow and buffalo gives us okay now uh the animals which are kept at home are called pet pet animals okay now what are pet animals they are small like we can keep it at our home okay like dog dog safe like dog guards our home okay so that we can sleep safely understood so uh, we can keep, we uh, keep generally that uh, fish we also 
keep fish in a, in an aquarium okay we also keep rabbit at home understood we also keep uh, parrots at home that are that is that all are pet animals understood now the animals which are kept in farm are called farm animals like horse cow buffalo goat hen they are all farm animals okay for example cow goat horse camel hen etc as i told you how are horse and camel helpful to us you know horse is used for riding in in uh, ancient ages in like previous time horse and donkeys are the main source of travel traveling when we, when we are traveling na no? uh, and transport when we are going somewhere so horse used to and donkey camel they used to buckle some of the luggage on their back and they they used to go miles and miles understood so that was the usage in previous times okay so with that we have completed types of animals domestic animals wild animals some of the usage of that animals what we can get from that animals understood so next one we will read in our next class that is animal lived at different places you know students uh, there are some places you know that that uh, we can't we people can't, cannot live there in antarctica there is uh, that, it, that is a uh, place okay and it's too cold place like coldest place a uh, place ever okay uh, every time there is a snowfall ice we people can't live there but this things happens to animals also okay we need a safe environment we need a very favorable temperature to live in okay so uh, animals also want to live in a good environment understood if there will be um, if i am uh, like keeping a horse at my home i am not giving water i am not giving food how can the horse live at home okay that is the difference is when uh, we people keeping any of the animals at home we, we have to take care of it if i am uh, bringing polar bear in india the polar bear will die you know why because he it needs a good temperature to live in because polar bear needs a icy environment icy environment is very cold place it it lives in a cold region understood so in our next class we will read which animal can live in which place how what what will be the scenario of living with that animals understood so we will learn that things understood so for now read those things which i have teached you and if you need any examples and if you want any help then underline that uh, lines and send it to me thank you